useful an officer will no longer divulge any more information to that rebel, Kyle Katarn. Katarn will not be as easy to deal with. He is very resourceful. More resourceful, it seems, than even your dark troopers. I understand the threat, Lord Vader. Katarn was once an impressive Imperial officer, but he was weak and gave up on the struggle for our new order. I wouldn't put much faith in his abilities. Katarn will never come near this ship. My new hire will see to that. <laughs> Yeah, alright, that was Boba Fett, apparently. Welcome to another episode of Star Wars Dark Forces 1. And, as you can see, um, I've added a video from the last mission, which I forgot to add. And also the intro for this one. So apparently your spy or informant who worked for Empire, Crix Maydeen, has been discovered by the Empire and also Lord Vader appears to be not very happy with the Dark Trooper program so yeah we took down a Dark Trooper phase one in the last mission but now we're gonna try to rescue Maydeen it seems so mission six Imperial Detention Center or in Accra Crix Maydeen's fate the background so that's Crix Maidane's face. You probably remember him, I guess, from one of the original trilogy movies. So, bad news, Kyle. All spy Crix Maidane has been captured. He's being held at the Imperial Det Detention Center of Northern Accra and awaiting execution. He has been valuable in supplying us with information on the Dark Trooper, and I think we owe it to him to make a rescue effort. The Imperial Detention Facility was well, is well secured, hard to get in, even harder to stay alive. There is a switch control shuttle carrier to the facility that will bring you to the main doors. Inside the complex, two main elevators access the lower prison blocks. One goes to the low security levels and down to the command center, the other, level, uh, the other leads back to, up to the high security blocks, where Crick's maiden is being held in the... I like to say pie block, because it looks like the pie in like the Greek letter, or even... P. <laughs> Sounds funnier. P block. Each cell is locked with its own code card carrier. That code card carrier? That's a fun alliteration. Code card carrier. Code card carrier by an Imperial officer. So, first you'll need to find the right card to meet in cell. Since the high security blocks are controlled from inside the block, once the guards are alerted, it will be impossible to penetrate. I suggest you find an optional entrance into the high security block. You rely or, sorry, that's stupid. You really be outnumbered here. So rely, there you go, on stealth rather than firepower. Yeah, that, that is not gonna happen, as you will see soon. So mission objectives only one. Find Crick's mating. And I really like um, the soundtrack of this mission. It's a bit mysterious, you know, like a pre prison break. And Thing. As you can see, stealth is not gonna happen. <laughs> I don't know why she even mentions that because this game doesn't really have a stealth mechanic. Some of the following games have it somewhat, but not really super um, developed, I would say. Okay, you, you probably recognize the soundtrack now. It's from episode 6, Battle of Ender. Endor. Okay, grab some ammo. Yeah, that's the part I like in the soundtrack. The other part, other, other than the mysterious bit. The mysterious bit is not um, 
against any of the movies, I think, but this bar is... that's when the battle starts to pick up. Oop, forget about that guy. Come on. Okay, so this door, that's a cracked wall, so we have thermal detonators for that. There we go. Ammo, sequence of charges, that's a secret apparently. And let's open this. Ow, lots of guys up there. Um. I don't know if I kill them all, but I'll kill them later if needed. We need to open this somehow. Let's okay, so let's see. This door. This is a cracked wall, so let's blow it up. Lots of thermal thermal detonators and shields. Up the lift. Press this so we can go across. Oh yeah, there was still one guy left. All right. So press this switch, opens that thing. So we don't do not need to blow this up. It's part of the same wall. So let's go back down. Grab some ammo. Ooh, that looks nice. Press this. So this level is a bit more complicated. Some branching paths and some... you'll see. Um, over here we don't have anything, so let's go back to the lift. This door is going to be important. As you can see, we need a red key for this. So you see, there is going to be backtracking this level. So take the elevator down. And those are sequencer charges, so we need to blow them up either with a thermal detonator or by proximity. proximity. <laughs> yeah, you need to be careful with them because they deal... any explosion in this game deals a lot of damage. So another secret, lots of shields, and there's another one here, so... lots of sequencer charges. And th that's a... <coughs> Block. Oh yeah, code key thing here. Did I get the the code key? Card key, code key thing? No. That guy probably drops it. Yes. And cracked door, uh, cracked walls here. So. Oh, I heard. Ooh. Okay, I didn't. I, I heard the mouse droid, but he didn't just yeah, die. So that's great. I like mouse droids. If you don't. I'm not even going to go down there. There are shields, but two cannons, I think, or even three. No point. Yeah, shields here, so you really no point in going down there. I think there's a, there's an extra life. Yeah, there is an extra life down there, but I have max lives, so... Really, really no point in going there. Yeah, there is a secret here I'm going to show you. I do not need it, it's a revive. But shoot this and run all the way back here. So that's a revive. I do not need it. So, uh, oh yeah, the code. Yeah, sure. Code is thing, this thing X Delta. This thing X Delta. Okay. So yeah, I like to destroy these things, as you know, using thermal detonators. They're quite hard to hit with no auto-aim. So, new weapon. It's the... I think it's called Mortar Launcher. I didn't even see the name popping up because of the ammo. 
But yes, another one to save for more difficult bits. So this elevator, if you press the switch again, it goes down again, so it doesn't go back up immediately. Clear the, uh, the area, kill them all. Ooh, I'm getting, getting hit a lot, so... This thing is a... no, we cannot go through, so we, we need to go all the way back here, jump, up, and press this, and run all the way back there. Okay. Lots and lots of enemies. Ow! I wanted to activate it by proximity and got hit. That's very bad. Switch. Oh yeah, I do not need to switch. Not right now. That's to come back. Sector PP. <laughs> so this not, does not open. I think I need to press this. Yes. So this place is not very useful unless you need shields, I believe. Or ammo. Two shield here. Health here, do not need it. And yeah, it runs here for some reason. Oh. The Empire does not like non humans, except I think Darksiders, and I don't remember any other, you know, important um, Imperial person other than Grand Emerald Throne, who's not a human. Well, I'm not very knowledgeable in canon, but maybe there is. Yeah, quite useless now, so let's go back. Definitely press the switch here. So we can go through. Back to the left. Which goes down again. Now this thing, it, ow, it flickers, so when it stops, fli it stops flickering, you go through. So, let's keep going. Wow. So there's a secret here which I remember this wall. And here you get a gas mask, which which is an item that helps you in a bit. I do not know why they would hide such a useful item behind a secret. Uh, it's a bit weird. So hit the switch. Before taking the elevator, we're gonna go through this. That's where we need the gas mask. Stop flickering and go through. And we got the red key. So F4 to use and, and equip and unequip the gas mask. So this is a different lift, so it's gonna go up, I believe. This way, some Imperial officers, and they both drop code keys, 5 and 4, or 4 and 5. So this way is where you input them. Lost a lot of shields here, damn it. It's not super useful, but let's use them. So we had a, we had three already, so let's see four and five. So X Delta thing. As you can hear, it opens the door that down that this way, not that way. Okay, so no. Well, actually, not that useless because I didn't have a lot of shields and. There's a whole different area down there, full of secrets and chargers. I'm not even gonna go down there. No point. 
So let's use the other code. Which is 3C D, I guess. More grants for some reason, so I'm gonna press right mouse. Okay, that was not needed. <laughs> I was gonna say press right mouse button so it doesn't detonate an impact, so. but I triggered it with um, proximity. So, power cells, that's always good. I think I have max now, yes. So that's all there is to it. We're gonna go back to the left. That is not my dog, that's another dog. Boy, my dog barks a lot as well. So, up another level. And, oh yeah, so that's the P. Or pie block with Crix Maidine. So with this we get two code keys, one and two. But as you can see, this door does not open. So where that's where the backtracking comes in into the equation. So we need to go all the way back to the beginning of the prison area. Because maybe you remember there was a door locked by a red key card. Uh, red key, which we have now, so. I'll always use the briar, uh, the briar pistol for more accurate shots, because it goes in straight line. Okay, oh, I forgot about this, alright. Nice. That's a secret as well. Back up. And open the door that was previously locked. Be careful with the secrets are charged. And there are shields up here, I think. Ooh! Wait, that's weird. That normally explodes with the secrets are charged. Yeah, shields. So, oh yes, there's another thing I forgot. So, send the lift down, which is something that you have to figure out, that you have have actually to do, you actually have to do this. It doesn't go back to the same level if you press it, it just keeps going down or up. So, you actually have to move it down so you can go through um, here. Fall down here and lose a bit of health, but that's the thing. And run across the gap. There's a cannon there, but ignore it. And that's a trash compactor with a Dianoga. Bit of platforming here. I'm gonna wait for this to go down and up again. And jump! And jump here. Shoot them. Where's the other guy? Never mind, I'll just kill him after. Trigger it. Okay, did not get me. Alright, nice. Okay, that's all of, all of them taken care of. Now, we have two codes for this, one and two. But there is a... it's kind of a secret, I not, not, do not know if it counts as a secret, I think not. If you input XXX, it opens up an extra door. Oops. This one. Kind of pointless unless you want, I guess, the power cells, which I, uh, which I did not need. So let's go code by code, code by code. D thing, the mountains. No, whoops. This and mountain. This is another pointless one because you know only only power cells, and the last code is Mountain XR. And 
And there we have it, Kriegs Maydeen. Okay, Jan, I rescued Maydeen. Don't hang around, let's get out of here before any more troopers arrive. And that's it, we have rescued Maydeen, Kriegs Maydeen. Next mission, I believe, is mission 7, I'm not sure, I always forget. But thank you for watching, and see you next time. Bye-bye.